hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to trim a video in native mac os app with swift using av mutable composition so firstly i will show you guys the output but here what i have done is that i have just created a native uh, mac os application with swift i am using storyboard but if you want you can use swift ui as well like i won't be really using storyboard everything will be programmatic using ns layout constraints so don't worry about it so here you can see i have one video player which is not playing any video because i haven't any selected any video and here i have this play video if i click on play video it opens the file picker where you can select one video and once the user selects a video i am automatically trimming the video from the first 10 seconds to the uh, from first 10 seconds to 20 seconds so it would be a 10 second long video and the video would be tri trimmed from first 10 second to the 20th second i have hard coded this value inside my code but in your case you might ask the user in some kind of an input or something so here as you can see and also i have the save video button so once the uh, video has been trimmed you can save the video to your downloads directory as well so if i click on play video here you can see i'll select this particular video and it is a big video like it is almost 10 minutes long if i click on it definitely this video will be only for android as you can see it does not so as you can see it is only now 10 seconds long as you can see over here and if uh, i will also show you my downloads directory there is no such thing as trim.mp4 right if i click on save video now here you can see trim.mp4 has been saved so let's see how to do this so firstly uh, you will have to go to sign in and capabilities and here make sure this user selected file is read only and downloads folder you have read write access then inside general i have updated uh, i think you should update your mac os target like keep the minimum mac os deployment target to at least 12 i think i think by that uh, like currently it is 14 the maximum but by the time you watch it maybe 15 why might be out so i think 12 is fine also over here make sure you keep it at least 12 okay next inside view controller all i have done is that i have imported a wicket which will help us to trim the video then i have created three things av player view for playing the video ns button for this ns button for playing and picking and this is the save button and here i have created one variable called final url which will actually store the uh, url of the trimmed video then here i have initialized our av player and added it to our view similarly i have created one for ns button added a click listener as well added it to our view similarly for save video as well added a one click listener and saved it then here i have added some ns layout constraints for our player view our play button as well as our save button and once uh, so i'll come back to save button later on for once play button is called so here you can see we are opening our uh, picker once the user picks a video then uh, we get the actual url of this uh, picked video uh, once we get it we send that url to this method called transformed which i have created and once so this transformed will actually trim our video and give us the updated url so with that help of that updated url i'm just uh, playing our av player playing that video inside our av player now if you see this transformed method first we are creating a file manager then an av url asset then an av mutable composition then we are creating a video composition track an audio composition track and a video asset track and an audio asset track then uh, here we are just accumulating the time so here you can see i have hard coded the time as 10 seconds like start trimming from 10 seconds and end it at 20 seconds so here you can change the value to whatever you feel like then we are creating duration of current slice so we are sub subtracting like 20 minus 10 then we are creating a time range for current slice then inserting that time range inside our video composition as well as audio composition then we are accumulating that time then we are creating an export path as well as an export url and if the file already exists we remove that particular file then we create an av asset like an export session assign an output url to export url then the file type is mp4 and optimized for network usage true 
then we just export our export session and assign the output URL to our final URL okay now coming back to saving the video so once we have this particular final URL so here we are getting our downloads directory path once we have the final URL then we get the last path component of our final URL if file already exist then I'm returning uh, if the file does not exist at final URL uh, then I'm returning otherwise I'm just removing if a file already exist with that particular path then we are just moving the file which is present at final URL to our destination URL which is the downloads directory and I'm just printing it to the console so yeah that's how easy it is thank you for watching bye